In the 1990s, Lockheed Martin dreamed of a fighter aircraft that could be as stealthy as possible without sacrificing maneuverability. The result was a sleek airframe with a remarkable characteristic. It had no tail. The multi-axis no-tail aircraft, or X-44 Manta, was an outstanding concept that would allow thrust vector control like no other aircraft before, but it proved to be too avant-garde for its time. Nearly three decades later, echoes of the fantastic Manta have consistently popped up in official Air Force renderings as the service strives to create the next generation air dominance fighter jet, leading experts and amateurs to wonder whether the shelved project found its way into the making of the newest top-of-the-line fighter. An ambitious design. At the dawn of the 21st century, Lockheed Martin planned to build an aircraft that could leverage thrust vector control to provide the airframe with acrobatic capabilities needed in high-end dogfights. The new design would skip using a conventional tail section with vertical and horizontal control surfaces and instead opt to direct the engine's airflow. Decades of rapid fighter development had led to a standard set of tactical fighter characteristics, including a conventional tail. Even so, the F-22 adopted a slightly different tail than other non-stealth fourth-generation fighters. The new development sought to pull off the same maneuverability as the extremely capable Raptor, minus the need for the tail surfaces. Based on the F-22, the resulting delta-shaped stealth fighter was called the X-44 Manta. The name did not come from the sea creature, but from the acronym Multi-Axis No-Tail Aircraft. Other than the U.S. Air Force, NASA also became interested in testing the feasibility of full yaw, pitch, and roll authority without tailplanes. With the year 2000 around the corner, an ambitious design was on point, one that would solely rely on thrust vectoring for attitude control and flight path. An official NASA document titled American X Vehicles and Inventory X1 to X50 stated, quote, Thrust vectoring, the ability to turn the jet exhaust, allows an aircraft to create forces with its engines similar to the forces created by aerodynamic surfaces such as flaps, rudders, and stabilators. The result would be a structurally simple, light airframe, with increased fuel volume and better stealth characteristics, since there would be no movable aerodynamic control surfaces. If successful, the tailless layout would give the aircraft the ability to change directions aggressively while overwhelming enemy fighters, as the pilots would control the angle of thrust at will to use altitude to their benefit. The logical option. Lacking a complete section, the aircraft would obtain lower observability and a dramatically reduced radar return, potentially becoming stealthier than even the highly capable Raptor it was based on. Complete with the stretched delta wing, the concept was designed to measure 62 feet long overall. In addition, it would be powered by side-by-side -side Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines capable of 35,000 pounds of thrust, thus achieving speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour and altitudes of 49,000 feet. Beyond lower drag and better stealth capabilities, the design promised more efficiency and several other advantages, including internal weapons bays with a full payload of sidewinders, AMRAMs, smart bombs, and a 20mm internal cannon as well as more fuel capacity and extended range. Ultimately, the thrust vector controls allowed to point the nose and weapons at the enemy while the fighter's flight path remained unchanged. Pointing the nozzle of a jet engine would be a significant advantage during a close-up encounter when two fighters try to turn tighter and get their weapons locked. The F-22 Raptor can actually aim the nozzle on a single plane or up and down, while other models can do so in 360 degrees providing a wider range of options to shift direction quickly. As such, Lockheed Martin did not go for the newest strike fighter, but rather the most capable of engaging enemy jets. Boasting vector control, the F-22 was the logical option to experiment with this capability, and the Manta had all the characteristics Lockheed Martin needed as a technology demonstrator. More than an advanced fighter. The X-44's manufacturer doesn't currently showcase the aircraft in any official capacity, maybe because it never truly materialized. 
but even though it never made it past the design concept stage, many experts share military analyst Brent M. Eastwood's take in that, quote, its short life influenced later stealth designs that may be taken up by the U.S. next-generation air dominant sixth-generation fighter. Amid the intense fifth-generation fighter race between the United States and its opponents, sixth-generation models are quickly rising to the spotlight. In truth, analyst Peter Sukiu explained that next-generation air dominance, quote, will be far more than just a more advanced fighter, and instead will be a family of systems that would include autonomous capabilities, stealth, a new spectrum of weapons, thermal management of the aircraft signature, and improved propulsion with supercruise ability. Each of the programs is being developed with maximum connectivity, advanced sensors, and open architecture while taking advantage of computer-aided design. Recently, the U.S. Air Force made an announcement that surprised the world. The service had already designed, built, and tested a prototype aircraft for the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program, promising to be more advanced than past types. The new jet is likely to also dominate modern foreign fighters for many decades. Curiously, the Air Force simultaneously unveiled an image showcasing a wedge-shaped aircraft with no tail. While many wondered whether the artist's imagination may have impacted the art piece, several other official images and renderings from prominent aviation firms have all featured similar airframes. Therefore, many experts believe the X-44 may have influenced the next American prize fighter, however slightly. Strong Resemblance as stated in the NGAD program, the X-44 Manta was designed as a much more capable stealth fighter than the F-22 Raptor. But taking into account that Manta was born in 1999, it's unlikely the X-44 would perform decently in the new era. Noticeably, the Chengdu J-20 and the Sukhoi Su-57 were also developed in the 1990s and 2000s, and the new NGAD fighters will have to outmatch them all. Unfortunately, dusting off an old concept and pushing it into production would not solve all the Air Force's issues, especially considering that the F-22 is out of production. In fact, restarting the production line would be every bit as expensive as starting a new fighter from scratch. However, the Manta's DNA will most likely find its way into the Air Force's newest fighter, as repeatedly proven by renderings and visual concepts. As many experts have pointed out, the Manta's design showcases striking similarities to the tangible YF-23 fighter developed by Northrop, but the design images bear a stronger resemblance to the NGAD idea. Therefore, several analysts have pointed out that if an old stealth fighter like Northrop's is still in the fight, more advanced iterations of Lockheed's promising concept will more than likely have a role in the race. Not for nothing, the idea of a non-conventional tail section and wedge-shaped design keeps resurfacing after many decades. And in the near future, it would likely be open knowledge that the U.S. Air Force drew their inspiration directly from Lockheed Martin's X-44 Manta or Northrop's YF-23 Black Widow II for the next generation fighter. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to Dark Tech for many more military developments of the 21st century and share it with someone else who might enjoy it. Also, don't hesitate to check out the rest of our Dark Documentaries channels, where we delve into the most impressive battles of modern history and the technology used in them. Stay tuned.